Holes, 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 holes. You see me buy these holes, you see me unpack them, but buying's the easy thing. Let's see what actually sold out of these boxes. Welcome back to the channel everyone. If you are new here, my name's George. This channel is Retro Reselling, and I basically buy and sell all sorts of items, new, used, antique, vintage, retro, wherever it is, and it's cheap, pick it up, and then sell it online for a profit. That's my business. Well see, the end of last year, start of this year has been very rocky. Everything's shut basically, and I've been struggling for stock. I've dipped my toes into the world of vintage clothing or clothing wholesale anyway, used items. I've also had a couple of subscriber hauls as well, which has helped me out massively. So thanks to them. Today's video is just showing what has sold so far since my first haul video, which was Vault Vintage. We're gonna head a haul from Lee, Cola Flipper. Had a mystery box from George. And lastly, pre-loved kilo, we've got a 10 kilogram box of clothes. So not everything has been pictured and listed. Uh, we'll just see what has sold so far from the stuff that I have listed. And as you know, I sell the majority of my stuff on eBay. I do a bit of Amazon, sort of coming away from that, but I'm pushing very hard this year. Depop specializes in clothing, footwear, sort of mid-teenage to maybe early 30s, that sort of uh, age range. So I just about fall into that category. Been pushing it hard, had a change around of my store. So I'll go through that at the end because one of the things has actually sold on Depop, which is cool. So let's get straight into it. So going to the very end of January for this first sale, which is the vintage Lee Stormrider denim jacket. 30th of Jan, this came from Vault Vintage. Each item owes me about 10, 11 pounds. First out of the blocks, 49.99, 50-pound plus uh, £4 postage for this really nice jacket. I would have kept this myself, but I've already got a similar one. Really cool. I knew that would sell fast. Vintage was on its side. Condition was on its side. Perfect start. Same day, another strong sale. Again from Vault Vintage. Obviously, it's the first load I got, so this will be Vault uh, for the majority of the first few sales. Nice Polo Ralph Lauren crew neck jumper. Listed on eBay and Depop, as always, with clothing. Listed for $29.99, which is quite high. Obviously, start high, bring the prices down. I actually sent offers out to watches and it ended up going out for £25.49 plus postage. So for a Ralph Lauren jumper, really strong price. So start of February, very, very slow. And the next sale in these four bundles didn't come until the 7th of February. I had sold stuff in the meantime, so don't worry about that. But this was the next one from the haul. Again, from Vault Vintage, owes me 10, 11 pounds, as I've said before. Listed on eBay and Depop. Sent offers out again, listed it for 29.99. But someone accepted an offer of 25 pounds, 49 again, plus postage. This is the one with a uh, bell on the back. There we go. Really nice condition. Sometimes with these NFL jerseys, the numbers can start cracking and things. So yeah, look out for that. Really nice big size, 2XL, good condition. Yeah, perfect, easy to pack as well. On to the 8th of Feb, next day. This is the first item from Lee, Coda Flippers haul that he uh, kindly sent me. I think it was 117 pound, including the postage and everything for this haul. And straight off the bat, or straight off the ice, we sold these Bauer ice skates. Listed high at 49.99. Uh, again, pricing high. I wasn't thinking I was going to get that, especially with ice rinks closed and things. They went abroad. eBay's global shipping program got this sale for me. And it went for £35 plus postage. Postage was £5. They're big and quite heavy. So accepted an offer. I'm not sure what it would have owed me in the bundle. Obviously, I'm going on £117 for the whole box. So £35 plus postage. Within like the next day, I think I listed these and they sold literally the same maybe the next day. So yeah, really, really good sale. Again from Lee, a Cola Flippers box. Had these nice Adidas Originals, like green high top trainers, size nine. Again, listing at that price again, $29.99 plus postage. That's a good sort of start for me, about $29.99 for a decent pair of um, shoes or some clothing. Better than your standard stuff, but not quite high end, just sort of in the middle range. Sent offers out to watches and these went for 26 pound 39 pence plus postage. 117 pounds for the box, got 35, got 26 for these, so almost halfway there just on two items and there was a lot more in the box so really happy with that bundle now we're on to a different bundle now this was the complete mystery box this is from george this is the one where i wasn't sure what to pay he suggested the price but we was going to see once i've gone through it how i felt obviously offered it up to you the viewers as well and sort of obviously prices were coming in some people didn't want the box at all some said 30 40 50 i think the highest went up to 70 80 uh, we agreed on the end 50 pound all in uh, I think that's a fair price. There's obviously some things I wouldn't normally pick up, some longer tail items, but 
all in all um yeah 50 pounds seemed fair with the postage as well and this was the first item to sell out of that box air jordan bum bag 19.99 Except on an offer of £17 and I believe this went to a viewer so thanks so much for that. Bought from a viewer, sold to a viewer, perfect. Another item from Lee's box, good quality stuff in this box so no surprises that this is um, selling very fast. Got these Lindeberg classic black and white leather golf shoes, size 12 so really hefty things, nice and big. I think they've got like rubber or plastic um, spikes on the bottom so it doesn't ruin the greens. I think metal spikes are banned in the UK because they like chew up the grass and things so be aware of that. Listed for £35.99 plus postage and again sent offers out and £31.67 is what they sold for. I'm pretty sure like 8 or 9 out of 10 sales I'm getting at the moment I'm sending offers out to watchers. That's a really really positive feature eBay have introduced. I always say global shipping program is my favourite thing they've introduced and closely followed by sending offers out out to watchers they get so many sales someone could watch it not sure if they like it or not just sort of put it in their watch lists and they might forget about it usually but send them a nice like 10 12 15 percent uh, discount and suddenly jogs their memory saving a bit i'm getting a sale perfect gets things moving along back to george's mystery box uh, this was one of the stronger items in there uh, obviously the best one was the game boy that sold in fact I just remembered that sold on Facebook. We'll come on to that now. There was a Game Boy Color in there. I think it was like a teal color. I listed on eBay and on Facebook Marketplace. I've been testing Facebook out as well. And it actually sold on there, 45 pound cash. They collected it in person so I could show them it working and things, social distancing, masks, all that. All them precautions were taken, don't worry. And that literally sold within a couple of days on Facebook, so no fees as well. So that was excellent. Then the next thing was these Dr. Martins, 22 99 plus postage. Obviously it's better to have men's size or women's size. These were kids size 10. So the value does go right down and the condition is more of a factor with kids ones. With adults, like men's or women's, so if they're a bit roughed up and things, that's more of a sort of punky type look. That's not too bad. Can still hold their value a bit, affects it a little bit, but not as much as kids. Obviously kids want nice shiny shoes, they're not looking too rough and ready really. Uh, but I got full price for these, $22.99 plus postage. A rare one where I haven't had to send out offers to watchers to get the sale, which is a bonus. Back to Vault Vintage now, the first bundle of stuff I got. Again, £10-11, listed on eBay Depop, same story. I listed them at $45.99 plus postage. I accepted an offer this time, so I haven't sent out offers to watchers. Someone made me an offer of £30 and I snapped that up. £30 plus postage for just a pair of North Face trousers. I'm taking that all day long. Could have held out for a bit more. People were getting 40-ish pound, but then some did go for like 20, 25. So bang in the middle at 30. I'm having that. Another item from Georgie's Mystery Box. Uh, a lower sale for me, 5 99 plus postage. But again, I've sent offers out and it went for actually £5.27 plus postage. Just a, basically an internet box. I thought it would get a bit more than it went for in the end. I think it had a remote control. Uh, that this didn't come with so this is just a box with the disc a subscriber did message me about this actually saying people use these to get the board out that does the wireless internet and they put it into sort of vintage older macs and desktops like that and then that makes them produce wi-fi which is quite cool so i don't know if that went to this type of person that can do that but yeah got the sale lower thing but um yeah it went again back to league's box again what's this the fourth or fifth item out of this box now so probably the strongest of all the hauls a uh, nice pair of adidas leather spikeless golf shoes slash trainers i think i listed these just on ebay i would have put them on depop but sort of golf shoes not really the millennial type thing to do golf not for the majority of people anyway so i think i just stuck them to uh, ebay and i did put them on facebook as well actually got a few messages on facebook but nothing came through on that and ebay got the sale 24.99 actually got full price for these plus postage so again nice and strong medium priced item in a bag off it goes yeah getting the stuff in getting the stuff out continue that cycle which is a lot easier when we're not in a lockdown again nice strong sale this is an item i wasn't 100 percent sure on back to george's box the mystery box that owes me 50 pound a tamron minolta mounted like camera lens like a vintage thing wasn't high end or anything uh went on a couple of solds people have got like 10 pounds someone got five i think but then someone was getting 20 25 so up and down went in the middle of 18.99 and i got 18.99 plus postage took just under a week to sell so nice and quick i got about the medium price that these go for so really happy with that and just more profit on top of this mystery box 
Again, back to George's box. So things are flying out quicker than I thought from this mystery box. And this was a subscriber sale as well. So thank you so much to this buyer. Again, bought from a subscriber, sold to a subscriber. Awesome. Uh, these are like webcams, like kiddie type webcams. Uh, you can sell them singly, they'd have to be a pair, but I thought there's only one charging cable. I didn't actually have a spare that fitted these. So I just put them together, asked $29.99, and they sold for $26.99 plus postage. So again, I think I've sent out offers to watchers and a subscriber have bought these. Got positive feedback, their kids love them. Uh, I just want to say thanks again so much for that sale. Really appreciate it. Helped these move along quicker than I thought they would. Uh, yeah, everyone's happy. Another subscriber sale, and this should have been a Depop sale. They bought two items. They bought this hoodie, which came from Pre-Loved. So onto the last haul now, Pre-Loved Kilo, 10 kilograms of clothing. Majority of it was like sports leisure wear, sort of early 2000s, some modernish stuff. A couple of 90s bits, which was quite cool. Overall, I was quite happy with that. Some people weren't sure on that box, but overall, I was quite happy. I'm not going to make mega bucks. I knew that. But it's just, again, items to make a bit of profit, keep the stores moving along until April. Um, yeah, so it's doing its job. So like I said, Depop should have got this sale, but for some reason, it's been a bit glitchy, Depop, for me recently. I know they've been making some tweaks and changes, but they've missed out on two sales. Because this subscriber bought this Nike um, hoodie, and they also bought some Ralph Lauren canvas type shoes, both listed on Depop. But there was a glitch going on, so they ended up going to my eBay store, and eBay got the sales and the commission on this one. Subscriber discount, uh, $17.99. These were listed for $19.99, I think it was. So obviously not a massive discount for a subscriber, but because these owe me a little bit more, I couldn't give as much. Still a subscriber discount. They also bought some slower moving canvas shoes. So offered a bit more discount, put the postage together. So again, they saved there. Made me a couple of sales, some uh, space on the shelf. So again, thanks so much for that sale. Talking of pre-loved, this is the second item, probably my favorite, like the standout item for me. In the video, I think I said, what, 18, 20, 25 pounds. Yeah, this one's intriguing. It's like a racer type jacket, which is quite cool. So I'm not sure on price. I'm going to guess at 18, 20 again. I'll do a bit of research and hopefully it'll come out a bit more than that. I ended up getting double that. 45.99 plus postage. I got this price as well. Yeah, really, really stand out. I actually doubled the price than what I said. Like I say with the videos, when I'm showing you a haul, I am more conservative or I try to be with pricing because I don't want to say, oh yeah, I could get 50 quid for this and then it ends up going for 20. Sort of misled you a bit. Never want to do that. So go cautious, 2025, and then show you what it does actually sell for. Back to Lee's box now. Some skateboarding trainers, DC, black, white, and silver. Uh, size 8, I think these were women's, but size 8 makes it unisex for me. Uh, like smaller men's, smaller average men's, bigger women's. Appeals to both parties. I listed them here at 35 99 had a 10% discount on as February was getting slow. And then I had an offer of £28 from a buyer, which I accepted, obviously. Another strong sale from Lee's box. Pre-Love Kilo sale now. Just a standard, more of a modern uh, zip-up top. Just an Adidas full zip top, black and white. Size large, really good condition, listed on eBay and Depop again. eBay got the sale, listed at £22.99, so nothing special. Sent offers out because it's gone for a random amount again, £19.54 plus postage. So I'm not sure what each item owes me. I think it's probably £7, £8 maybe. I would have to do some maths, but it's around that. So decent profit, bread and butter, bill payer, all that stuff. Easy to send out. Yeah, no complaints. Going back to Vault Vintage, had this nice Hugo Boss green label salmony pink type polo. Really nice condition, no damage, no marks or anything. Again, listed at 22, had my 10% discount on for that week. So it's gone to 20.69 and I sent offers out again and that's made it 18 pound 21. So not amazing, but again, it's easy to pack. It's gone out the door for a bit of profit, so I can go again and buy another box if I really want to, invest it again, pay some bills. So no complaints here again. It's gone within its first cycle and it's made a little bit of profit. And we're up to date now. This is yesterday's sale and this is from Lee again. It's these Aldo light grey suede leather boots. Size four, really good condition. Look like they've hardly been worn. It says I've listed them for 22.49. I got an offer of 12 pounds plus postage and I took that simply because I just wanted them out of the way. I know I'm in profit now in Lee's box. We're in March now. I've got 12th of April in my head. So we've got about four or five weeks until boot sales hit. So if I'm making profit and I can clear some space, then yeah, I'm gonna take that. 12 pounds, happy with that, out the door, boom. Then we come to Depop. Should've had three sales on Depop because of a glitch, it's only got one, which sounds very disappointing. 
but I have actually been selling other things on Depop that were cross-listed, I've been bumping and things. Uh, but this is the one item that has sold just on Depop, got the sale before eBay. This is Vault Vintage again from the first haul. Really nice item again, nice check um, type, heavier shirt, like jacket. Scotch and soda, vintage look, size medium. And I got 35 99 for this, which is really strong. Again, if it owes me about 10, 11 pounds, a juicy amount of profit. I uh, really like this item myself and the buyer's happy. So that was everything. Thought I'd show you my Depop store now. It's had a nice sort of upcycle. So I've changed my logo. Uh, still gonna change the logo on the YouTube channel. So again, any designers out there wanna have a go at designing my sort of channel logo or for Instagram, YouTube and things like that. And yeah, design away, send it to me. I will be changing it soon, so be quick. But just thought I'd do one on my Depop shop and for eBay as well, so it's not just my YouTube channel name. Building up the followers and things, being active within the Depop community, which seems to help. Changed my little bio, so what I sell, clothing and footwear, eco-friendly packaging, because I use the compostable bags now, which has been really, really good. Links down below for them if you were interested. They've passed my test. Ship every other day, returns accepted with a nice big tick. And just a little plug for my YouTube channel, I'm on YouTube. And I'm keeping it consistent in the pictures. I've got my squared 80s type background and I'm using that for everything now. I was chopping and changing between the grass, like the faux grass and this background and things. I'm just sticking to this now. Keep it all the same. Making sure the white balance is as good as I can. It's not perfect. Yeah, using Snapseed, which is the app. White balance, it does it really well. And yeah, it's definitely been helping. Picked up a few sales. Um, on Depop, getting a lot more followers, a lot more interactions. So hopefully that continues building throughout the year. There we go, that's everything from me. Um, like to show you what actually does sell instead of just showing you what I buy and then sort of leave it at that. I like to back up my prices to show that these prices are achievable. Sometimes they go for more, sometimes they get bang on the mark. Sometimes they go for a bit less than what I say, but like I said during the video, I try and be reserved with my pricing when I'm showing you what I have bought. Because as we all know, like I've said, buying is very easy. I could go out and buy any old junk right now. Selling it is a difficult thing, especially making a good amount of profit. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell so you know when I go live or upload new videos, you'll get notified straight away. And if you want extras, behind the scenes, bloopers, special Zoom calls, which I'm doing this week, uh, then yeah, consider becoming a member of the channel. Got different tiers, different benefits. Thanks to everyone that has joined. Look forward to seeing you if you do sign up. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. See you later.